ever replaced an ECU such as ESP and ABS, or updated a module on a Mercedes and saw this kind of error? This usually means the ECU software needs to be reprogrammed. In today's video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to perform flash programming using DTS Monaco, just like we do in professional Mercedes diagnostic workshops. So, what exactly is flash programming? In simple terms, it's the process of updating or reinstalling the firmware of an ECU, just like updating your phone's operating system. So what can flash programming actually do? First, software upgrades. You can install the latest version from the manufacturer to fix bugs, improve performance, or add new features. Second, in some older car models, if you want to unlock some hidden features like these, you will need to upgrade software. Third, flashing after ECU replacement. When you install a new control unit, you need to flash compatible software so it communicates correctly with other systems. If not, the communication between the new ECU and the whole system will be lost. If you change head unit without flashing, it also trigger anti-theft error. And even recover a bricked ECU, one that lost connection completely due to failed coding or interrupted flashing. Before flashing, make sure you have a stable 13 volts power supply, a DOIP compatible interface, SD Connect C4, C5, or C6. Once connected, open your SMR project and select the ECU you want to flash. Check the current software and hardware ID and parameters of the selected ECU. Perform security access. Browsing through the diagnostic services in preparation for the programming process. Switching to the Flash Programming tab to prepare file loading, select Flash Files. Files loaded successfully, ready for programming. Start Flash Process, clicking Start and monitoring the data download and programming progress. Flash completion. Recheck ID and perform hard reset. Does that mean once the flash programming is done, everything is finished? The answer is no. Depending on the situation, 
you may need to perform additional procedures. In this example, I will demonstrate how to perform a software update for an electronic control unit called the MFK, the multifunction camera. Before we can flash the ECU, we must perform the security access procedure to unlock the ECU. Next, we select the ECU again and go to the flash programming tab. Here, we start the preparation steps. Now we begin the actual flashing process. After the flash is complete, we return to the Diagnostic Service tab and perform a 1101 hard reset on the ECU. Then, we move to the Trouble Code Diagnostic tab to read the stored DTCs. To verify the update, we switch to the Zentry Diagnosis software. Xentry detects that the MFK ECU still has active faults, but the errors have been solved completely, so we clear the fault memory. After that, we run another quick test. The final quick test shows that the MFK ECU now reports the updated software version and no fault code stored. The update is successful. To summarize, the flash programming procedure includes these steps. Select the correct flash data file. Perform security access in the Diagnostic Services tab. Run flash programming. Perform a hard reset. Run vehicle diagnostics again. Clear any resolved fault codes. This ensures that the ECU is successfully updated and fully functional. We have compiled our real-world knowledge and hands-on experience with DTS Monaco into a comprehensive book. The book DTS Monaco, Mercedes-Benz Diagnostics and Programming for Rookie, is more than just a guide to reading CBF and SMR files. It walks you step-by-step step through the most powerful features of DTS Monaco, including vehicle diagnostics, reading and clearing fault codes, performing variant coding, and carrying out flash programming. It also explains how to use seed calc effectively and provides practical instructions on using DTS Monaco for retrofitting and unlocking hidden features on Mercedes-Benz vehicles. Whether you are a beginner or already have some experience, this book gives you the detailed, hands-on knowledge you need to master DTS Monaco in real workshop scenarios. In the next video, we will guide you about the variant coding function on DTS Monaco software. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to follow the latest videos of Auto Explain.